All right, survivors, welcome back to the long dark. In the last episode, we came across this lovely, looks like a cellular tower to me, and this frozen guy who we promptly looted. And now we're going to head to the lovely town of Milton. Can't wait. Scenic view. Sure was. I just don't recall how to get down there. And I really hope we don't freeze to death on the route. I honestly do not know where I'm going really. I don't remember exactly. Oh, there's lights on. Now, if I sprint, it kills our cease. Look. Smoke from that chimney. That means someone's home. If you notice the little arrows next to the stats in the little in the left hand corner of the screen. When I sprint like so. They go down. Hello? Anyone out there? Yeah, it's a good idea. You start screaming. They go down much faster. Um, you get three arrows down instead of two or one. And that's... That's a dead guy. Why are you, uh... Dead, guy? That is a score right there. What happened here? Empty. We got nothing from it. I mean, it doesn't matter. That hatchet, it, you don't understand. That's a big deal. Hatchet is a big, big deal. <sighs> this whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. <laughs> Oh, the lovely town of Milton. It's eerie, man. I know, I know the wind is kind of loud. This game is notorious for that, that I remember. I actually turned it down quite a bit. And I hope you can hear me over it. I uh, don't want to have to scream, you know. Got a little hairy in the last part. After the plane crash, it was really windy. So I'll just try to remember to speak up in the wind. Alright, we're gonna go inside. This looks like the front door. One thing I want to do. What is that? It sounds like a, a squirrel that's pissed off. Kidding, there's nothing in there. I remember the mailboxes around here being packed. But I guess not. Not that one anyway. Hello? Anybody here? Uh, what do I have for light? Anything? I kind of need these matches. Uh-oh. -uh. That... Lady, I'm gonna, later. I'm gonna steal your sardines before I do anything. First things first. I'm just not... Put the matches away. I'm not comfortable with this. Walking up on a blind lady. Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy <laughs> shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. 
Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen. Could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, Things must be worse than they thought. So I have control over the mouse, but very limited. Where are we? No, a forgotten town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm. Compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did, before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. I just realized I can't have white subtitles in the game with so much like snow in it. So they have to be yellow. Name's Mackenzie. Or whatever color white. that is. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. The name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> They were wrong. Bad men from, like, the bank? Take your house? Who are the bad men? The men. They... They pass through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught? By these bad men? 
I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. We're all survivors here, lady. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being whole means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. I like the way she talks. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? <laughs> yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never heal. The mainland had become our lifeline, and it was suddenly cut. And so, we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to uh, you? Hmm. I like that. Power. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. <laughs> Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. Okay.
What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Nice. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... But the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Can we just say that? Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Memories are gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Hmm. Energy. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. So the power went out just last night. Hmm. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do after the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Mm -hmm. Lily? Never mind. But never mind. Who the fuck's Lily? Who are you? What's what's going on? Alright, find supplies to help keep Grey Mother alive. So we have a map. And there's a gas station down there, and I guess that's our destination. So we're going out the door to the left. Way past the tower that we were at. <sighs> it's the music that gets you. Alright. I really don't want to leave... This house without a source of light. Um... So I'm just gonna have a quick gander around, I guess. Oh, H to put away, okay. H for holster. I'm just trying to find a lantern, you know? Because we're in a game called The Long Dark. 
สวยไม่ผีอาซานโชว์แต่มัสฟิลเลยสเตอร์สไม่ไม่เวอร์สต์เอนิมี่ seriously I really just I would love to find Actually, can I take a torch from here? Can I take a torch from her fire? Damn it! Can I make water from her fire? Very nice. y e k s h i m i s h All right, I have a feeling I'm not gonna find what I'm looking for, but I'm just gonna give it a quick gander. I've never been so hungry in my life. Yeah, we need a lantern. I just really would like. Remember, there are things in this, in this game that will make you very sick. Can I search this stuff? No. I know I can't. No. Yeah, I don't think I want to sleep right now. I, I I'm thinking about it, but uh, it'll drop our stats too much water and shit like that. All right, so there's no way. I'm sorry, I just I had to look. Actually, really good. Believe it or not, a sewing kit. I can't search any of this stuff. That's w h a t I could do. That's craziness. That's crazy. <sighs> crazy talk. Ooh. Holster. So, I would really, really, really like to find a lantern, and I guess we're not gonna find it in the Great Mother's house. That sucks. One minute. Let's go. Let's drink some boiling water. Why not? Jesus, that was hard. Now I'm going to leave the can. No, I'm not. One thing I forgot to show you guys is our backpack weight. Okay, we can hold the 66 pounds right now, and we only have 22, so that's good. A lot of stuff we need to get rid of, like a rabbit carcass. Actually, we're gonna harvest that. Nothing to harvest. Okay. It's because I didn't select anything. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and 
drop that for now. Make sure there's no meat on this. We're gonna drop that for now too. Um, the reason why is... We eventually have to, uh... Use the skin and the entrails, if you will. Alright, uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. We're okay on weight, but I, I, I remember, yeah, we can use her refrigerator as food storage. I cannot freaking see to get out of here now. Radio, a lot of good that's gonna do is too. I can play with the buttons. That's important. Alright, so we're gonna head to do it the door. I'm i I'm 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 terri absolutely terrified. I'm scared, terrified, shaking in my boots. Don't. I have a rock. Oh, I was looking at the wrong freaking stat. I should not have drunk that. There. Now I don't know if it makes more sense to walk or. Sprint. We need. I, th I feel like I need to save the sprint for uh, when I need to get the fuck out of dodge, like get away from an aminal. There's just a lot of sounds, man. What going on? A lot of a lot of facets to keep in the old dooter's head. I think it's getting lighter out, actually. Well, big old big old moon. I, I really feel like I'm being fucking stalked right now. You gotta be shitting me. It's pretty dark in here. You can always, you know, mess with the radios. I don't know why. The hell's the point of that? Wow, I can, I, I don't remember the lighting. Just, the new graphics card is just making the lighting, like, unbelievable. And, I mean, it's not like there's... There's no, like, RTX or anything in this game, but... Man, I feel like we're being stalked. Seriously. Oh, shit. There's a guy in here. Holy shit, a lantern. Don't mind me, sir. I am just going to... Take your lantern. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? It 
Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? <laughs> My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Right. That's freaking ominous. I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. Hell yeah. It's a town of the old world. Discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. Oh. No more than you, man. You're not my friend? You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Santa Claus. Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way. But how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm. Power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Dude, you are just too freaking cheery. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you, Saint Nick. Methuselah, I like that name. It's a good name for... No more cash, like a pet wizard, Methuselah. Alright, sir, don't mind me, I'm just going to steal your cash. Maybe I can burn it. Metal chair. Alright, so what we're gonna do is. Fire up the lantern. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Big difference, eh? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Go energy drink, are you kidding me? Uh, what is that? A birch branch? Search metal container. Okay, see. Yes, we need that. It's really tempting to just grab every little thing. Oh, we need a can opener. But like I showed you, the, the weight of our backpack is a big... Battery is $160. That's price gouging. It's illegal. The weight of our backpack is really a big deal. And can't just go nuts grabbing every little thing. But we need, to, it's very important that we look around for the good stuff. Like salty crackers, baby. And you keep in mind you can always drop shit or eat shit. I'm not sure, oh, beef jerky is going to be a freaking savior. We need, uh... To 
eat some of this crap to get rid of it. I really just want... Did I eat the dog food? What am I thinking? Oh yeah, every can we open also is... Uh... Going to give us a recycled can. Oh, we're almost full, huh? I really wanted the beef jerky, but... That did... That was perfect. Got us right to the... Oh! Ah. Seriously, you have no clue how important that is. Muy importante. And that. Give me all your soda. I want the sugar rush. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously afraid to look at the backpack because it's going to be milk is six dollars that's actually <laughs> I hate to say it but you know like, if you go to like certain parts of Alaska or anywhere near like ooh, a tin of coffee anywhere near like the Arctic Circle or uh you know, like remote villages in the middle of nowhere up there. Milk is like thirteen dollars a gallon, and that's ooh. That's, no, no, no. We need, we need water. What you read about? Potable water. Don't have to boil it. Fucking huge. We need to hurry the f up and get through this because uh. <gasps> Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Gotta have those narcotics. Oh, I'm taking those too, actually. I got all excited when I saw that medicine cabinet. I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, we need to hurry up and do our search because... Oh, they, they... That's important. Bed roll. That's very important. Uh, the problem is, it's very heavy. I, 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 I seriously did not need to do that. But that's what I was saying. We need to hurry up because that's when we go out. Um, I do have fuel for it a little bit, but it's the kind of thing that we want to. Um, Oh yeah, baby. Water. Kind of thing we want to hold on to because you don't one you, you just don't want to be stuck in the dark. And don't need them. Like oh come on! Requires pry bar. I wonder if we're gonna find a pry bar in here. Metal shell, cardboard box. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Just land out. Hope Pinnacle I can still eat this. Fuck yeah, we can. If not, we'll give them to Grey Mother. She can eat them. Hey, buddy, sorry to leave you hanging like this with the storm and the power and everything, but it sounds like it's all gone to hell and at the upper bridge tonight. Cars broken down. A mess, and some rich mainlander won't budge from the church's truck. Probably think we're all a bunch of bandits waiting to rip him off. Usual story. Probably are. Anyway, me and Jason are going to go up there and see if we can talk some sense into him before the storm gets even worse. I'll sort you out in the morning. So that sounds like a threat. Do I need to take that note? Oh, a fire pit. That's actually pretty huge. Um, we're all full up of goodies and stuff. I think. Oh, I almost. 
was messy man fuck and another one oh I don't need that I need something to drink when in doubt can of soda when in doubt sugar it out all right, so I, I guess we have to go back to Gray Mother's house with all our goodies, our candy bars and shit. I suppose I should have looked at the map before we came outside. Yeah, okay. We need to go back to Grandmother's house. Um, what the hell was that? Mountain Town? Oh, Highway Robbery. Okay, so that was that letter that we found. I, I'm not really sure what the significance of that was. Um. It would have been really, really, really nice to find some sort of weapon. Coal, eh? See, that's why I'm in here. Oh, please tell me there's a flare gun in here. I'm sure, I'm sorry if you guys can't see anything. I just don't want to waste. I can, I can see when we go outside in the, in the moonlight. Damn it, I was really hoping for a flare gun. Uh, no other cars around. Alright, let's go back. Grandmother's house. A flare... A bullet for a flare gun. I mean, a flare, you know, is... Better than nothing. God damn, that's fucking eerie. Talking about no canal. I see. I have a feel like I'm, I'm about to jump. I got in here to, to look around. Hey, girl. That grumpy jerk in at Orca who left the back door open, so I snuck in and took some stuff. I thought we might need it for when we get out of here. Can't wait to get over to the mainland with you, where we can finally be together for real. I'll meet you there tomorrow night like we planned. I stashed some stuff near that big fallen tree in the marshy area behind St. Christopher, you know, where we met that one time and drank your dad's contraband. Okay, contraband. So, that, that this note is leading us to the area behind St. Christopher's. Wherever the hell that is. Give me a fucking flare gun. I, I just have a feeling that a wolf is about to... About to have its way with us, you know. Seriously, you have to be able to switch the broken radio every time. Yeah, it's cold. Milton Post Office, eh? That sounds promising. So... Huh. Trench Rao. 
call me Al. Put some wood in your mother's box. Makes my head feel thick. Search containers in the world for extra supplies. Okay. What is that screeching sound? That's cre creepy as hell. One thing about me in these games where you gotta search everything, I always, I always, always, always search the toilets. I don't, uh, there's never anything in them. I don't understand why I do it. I, I get mad at myself. I do it all the time. You'll see. Uh... Oh, are you for real? We gotta fill the firewood bin, that's our mission. Alright, well... First things first, man. We need to get rid of some of this gear. Because if you look at our backpack weight, it's... Pretty full, and we're not gonna be able to carry like any wood. I'm putting this stuff in the fridge. I think the fridge and the freezer are two different things. I can't stack these boxes. I can't scroll this window? What the fuck? Big Moose Coffee. Yeah, see, we're, we're just stacked full of food right now. What is giving us 30 pounds? What did we pick up that's that heavy? Sorry, I just gotta see what is so heavy. Oh, the lantern. I can sort by weight, right? Okay. The water is five pounds. We're gonna get rid of that. That did a lot. The lantern, the hatchet, the bedroll. I told you the bedroll is heavy. I told you, you didn't listen. I'm only kidding, you listened to- Oh, oh, these. Yes, we don't need those. I have to remember to, um... I have to remember to clear this shit out. Drop that. We're gonna drop that. And you know what? We can go ahead and drop our bedroll here. And I'm pretty sure it won't go anywhere. Righto. Right, okay, I just had to save it. I, I fucking love that. Games with autosave have been pissing me off. Okay. So our mission, should we choose to accept it? We gotta fill this bitch's bin. Stock grave mother's fridge with food. Fill grave mother's... Firewood bin outside. Oh, there is autosave. What the hell? What am I looking at below that? 7560 of 8,000? Did we not stock with enough food or. Wait, what, what, what's the deal there? As a matter of fact. Let's 
sorry, we need to, um... We need to sleep just at least one hour. That was a mistake. We should have slept at least, at least two hours. Ooh, it's getting white out. Kick ass, man. Pry bars are essential. Alright, so we need to fill this. So that screeching sound is the trees, or it... because it sounds like dying rabbits. This is where we found our hatchet, our axe, rather. It is dying rabbits. Yo, where is that? Seriously, where is that dog? It sounds like it's right next to me. Seriously, I'm scared shitless. Because we have no way of defending ourselves. And this fucking wolf sounds like it's like right here. Things first, lady. Why don't you have a cooking pot? Oops. Okay, we're gonna make as much water as we can. We, we really need a cooking pot. We, we had one. Oh, back at the airplane hangar. Do, yeah. do. We need to fill Den Mother's fire bin. That's funny as hell. I can't believe I just broke down some of her furniture. 
in her house. I guess I, I actually feel kind of bad about that. Okay, we're nice and toasty warm. Oh, we're just missing out on a little sleep. Um, if that messed up my axe, I totally, I totally deserve that. Breaking down the furniture. Yeah, we'll fill your your wood bin, no problem. Just give me all your furniture. Strangely enough, I don't see shit with wood around here. I mean, you'd think we'd be swimming in wood. Why does it sound like a fucking waterfall? The waterfall is about to smash us in the face. That is crazy loud. Crazy. Alright, let's see where we're at. Our stats are pretty good. They're not going down too fast. Um, what happens is your clothes wear out. And they don't keep you as warm. So you need to fix them. We actually have a sewing kit in the... I think it was a book on how to sew. Is always awesome and so you need to periodically repair your clothing or else you'll there's a lot of cars over there I don't want to venture too far just what, what the hell man gray mother needs wood guys I keep, <laughs> I keep trying to hit the jump button. Oh, you know what? I should have picked up that lump of coal because I bet that <laughs> I bet that that's classified as um, firewood, and coal is like wicked heavy. It would have filled it up already. This is crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Seriously, he was he, he was right you heard him, he was right behind us. He was right on our freaking heels. That was That was frightening. I, I I'm shaking like a little girl. Oh, look at that. Look at that, an empty cabinet. Alright, we're gonna take this opportunity to sleep for one hour. Damn it, man, I can't even go across the street. Fuck. God damn it. It's got me all nervous. Got me saving my game. I, I really just want to break down all, our, <laughs> all of our furniture. Let's say, say F these wolves. Are you serious? I can't go over that? I don't want to go over here because I'm afraid I'm going to lose my hearing. Oh my god. Oh, I, th 
think it is a waterfall. Seriously, I'm gonna cross the street and get attacked by a wolf. Why is there no fucking firewood around here? Um, we need to look for bins on the outside of other houses. Bins of wood. I mean, I'm around huge stacks of wood here. You think I'd be able to score some wood? We're heading back up to that tower. Damn it. I mean, we're in like, you know, it's not like we're in the city. You used to be able to harvest those bushes, and I wonder why you can't. In order for me to get wood, I have to risk wolves. Are you fucking joking? If I go over here, I'm gonna get attacked by a wolf. See him? Not even any wood on the ground. Like I can't harvest this. Oh, oh, oh! I think I remember. Some in this area right here. Oh, God damn it! I keep hitting the jump button like I'm gonna fucking jump. I can hear the wolf. like pimping. It's not, not easy. Three pounds of wood. 0.6 pounds of wood. Oh my god, 11.9. You got to be kidding. 11.9. You've got to be <laughs> I have to risk my ass. Yeah. Come on, you can't be serious. I think a stick would do it. To risk my hearing. I think in my footprints or something. Feels like something is sapping my energy. <laughs> I 
how come it doesn't say the weight anymore? I think we have the food, we just didn't put enough in. 88 pounds, really? Return to Grey Mother. Alright. I'm, I'm suddenly feeling productive, but I need to sleep for two hours. Two hours, just a, just a couple hours. See, that was like that was like work. But good things are happening here. Have you been able to remember anything else about that night? Anything that might help me find my friend? I'm back in that night. Wind howling. Voices passing through town. I can hear them. Just outside the window. It's windy. But the voices carry. They are yelling. Her voice... It passes through town. She's running. She's alone. Calling for help. But no one comes. Who? Why didn't anyone help her? Yes. Why didn't they? They should have... They should have found her before it was too late. Anything else you can remember might help. They said... Men came from the tunnel. What about the tunnel? The only way out of Milton. The only way through the mountains. It's the only way she could have gone. On the way into town, uh, there was an old man. Glasses, big beard, walking stick. He seemed uh, a little odd. Doesn't sound like anyone from Milton. Most of the elderly have gone. Or died. I'm the only one left. The only one from the old days. The old man outside of town, Methuselah, he said he'd seen other people walking towards Milton. Other outsiders? It's possible. Where would they be? Maybe my friend was with them. If they were outsiders, they might have stayed in the old schoolhouse. In the months after the quakes, people used to huddle there for the warmth of the school's old coal burner. Rare outsider coming through Milton might stay there the night. If your friend came through Milton, chances are she ended up there. Hmm. Hmm. Grandmother thinks something happened at the tunnel leading out from Milton. Investigate. Okay, so. School bus crash at the tunnel. I think that we are going to tackle that in the next episode, kids. This has to be the Lily she was talking about. Um, that was like... We did a whole bunch in a short period of time. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Got a whole bunch of food. Some fuel. Got a, some really important things uh, taken care of. It's light out now, so when we come back, we're going to go and investigate the hell out of that bus crash at the tunnel uh it's good to see you guys thanks for stopping by we're gonna i'm gonna see you in the next episode which will be coming out shortly and as always peace